Good morning, Eagles. Today is Wednesday, May 18th. My name is Matthew Marks, and this is your Granite Hills News Network. Attention Eagles, on Saturday, May 21st, Granite Hills will be hosting their second annual Trevor Barnes Memorial 5K Fun Run and Walk at Granite Hills Stadium. This is a wonderful opportunity to join together as a school to honor Trevor Barnes and support suicide awareness and prevention. Wear your Granite gear and walk together. For more information, please see Ms. Dara Venetian in the guidance office. Hey Eagles, I have some announcements. First, are you a senior? Do you want to purchase your Chromebook? On May 26th, we will be selling your Chromebooks in the library. Just come on in with $20 and you'll get your Chromebook and your charger. Also, if you don't want your Chromebook, we will take it on June 1st after your last final. Bring that in. If you don't purchase it on the 26th and you decide on June 1st that you do want to keep it, you can buy it that day also. But if you know for sure you're going to buy it, try to do it on May 26th so that you don't have a long line. Everybody of all grades, we need all of our books back from the library. So this Friday will be the last day you can check out books, but everything has to be turned in by May 27th. We also need all textbooks as soon as you are finished with them for your finals. Happy reading, Eagles, and good luck on finals. Attention, Eagles. The due date for Eagle Link Leader application has been extended through Friday, May 20th. If you want to participate as an Eagle Link Leader for next school year, stop by room 236 to pick up an application. If you would like to do it digitally, please join the Eagle Link Schoology Group. For more information, please see Ms. Hansel. Attention Eagles, this semester many of our sophomore English classes created projects celebrating heroes. The assignment was to choose an individual that the student groups believed was worthy of a holiday. They need your help to vote for the best of the best. Each day will show a video of one of the candidates. So without further ado, here are today's candidates. Billie Holiday and Malcolm X. Billie Holiday started with a troubled childhood that led to a great and eventful life. She started fighting racial injustices at a very young age due to her father being denied medical treatment due to racial prejudice and learning to be independent. Her career in music started when she was 14 and she signed her first contract when she was 20. During her career, she was forced to enter the venue from side doors and was forced to travel by bus unlike her white band members. Don't let her troubles fool you, she would overcome these hardships by her love of music and didn't let disadvantages get in the way of her passion. Billie Holiday was a beautiful self-taught singer and one of the first female African-American jazz artists of the 40s. She started interpreting the anti-lynching poem Strange Fruit written by Abel Mirapol in small clubs. People swooned over her talent. She slowly became addicted to marijuana and narcotics due to the stress of her personal life, but this did not stop her victories. She had a motivational theme in her music, which is heard through her intense tone of voice. Billie's talent was picked up on by people across the world. Columbia Records signed with her, which was extremely uncommon for a woman of color in 1933. She was defining jazz, winning five Grammy Awards, saying, I hate straight singing. I have to change a tune to my own way of doing it. That's all I know. She collaborated with legendary artists like Lester Young, further proving her love for music. As she toured, she was faced with extreme discrimination and powered through it, encouraging black people all across the globe to persevere and use their disadvantages as a stepping stone for greatness. Billie Holiday was bound to leave an impact on society. Without Billie Holiday's courage and light, our music of today would not be the same. She was famous for advocating for minorities' rights in the music industry. And this is why we love her. She introduced the world to a new way of manipulating phrasing and tempo. Her unique styling has intensely inspired our modern day blues and jazz music and her voice is still relevant 60 years later into present day. She's an inspiration to women and everyone who thinks they are incapable of succeeding despite their race, orientation, and heritage. She was indicated into the Rock Hall of Fame in 2000 and the Jazz Hall of Fame in 2004. Her autobiography, Lady Sings the Blues, was written in 1956 that narrated her life in her own words to show the ups and downs of her life and inspire those around her. Billie Holiday should be remembered and celebrated on July 17th, the day she passed away. People could honor her music and how, it was, how it's inspired women and men all over the globe. Methodists, we're not brutalized because we're Muslims. We're not brutalized because we're Catholics. We're brutalized because we are black people in America. A hero that we think deserves a federal holiday and chose to recognize is Malcolm X. He was a significant figure during the civil rights movement. Although he's often overshadowed by Martin Luther King Jr., he still deserves to be celebrated. 
We would like to celebrate February 21st by letting students have a day off school, have different channels and streaming service, show documentaries, and show all about him and his life, and just remember him and his cause. Anyway. Malcolm X was both an influential African-American figure and an influential Muslim figure. X spent six and a half years in jail for allegedly stealing and pawning his half-sister's fur coat, allegedly mugging an acquaintance at gunpoint, and burglarizing multiple homes. Determined to change his way, he covered to Islam then his jail time, and he left disciplined life from there then on. He helped popularize the values of autonomy and independence among African Americans in the 60s to 70s, and helped change the terms used to refer to African Americans to, quote unquote, Black and Afro American. X urged Black Americans to protect themselves by any means necessary, which went against the nonviolent teachings of MLK. Because of Malcolm X and his impact on the world, we should all come together and celebrate him on February 21st to commemorate him and his biggest achievements. They won't even admit the night is there. Please go to the link below to vote. The heroes selected by the, by the campus will be honored with the holiday we celebrated next school year. The winner will be announced right here on News Network on Wednesday, May 25th. Attention Eagles, this Friday, May 20th, your senior girls will be playing a powder puff game against Mount Miguel at 7 p.m. at the Granite Hills Stadium. This will be the last powder puff game of the school year. Come support your Eagles. Attention Eagles, yearbooks will be distributed on May 24th at lunch in the front of the Student Support Center. Yearbooks can be still purchased at the finance office. Please bring cash or card. Checks are not accepted. The price has increased to $90. For more information, please see Ms. V. Attention Eagles, this is, this is the 36th annual Grossmont Unified High School District Art Show at Parkway Plaza Mall. Please stop by and view hundreds of students' artwork, including from 25 Granite Hill students' artists. Opening ceremony and awards will be presented Friday, May 20th from 4.30 to 5.30. Please see the website for more information. Attention seniors, senior awards will be on May 25th at 6 p.m. on the career patio. Attendance is invitation only. Please see the front office for more information. This has been your Granite Hills News Network. Thanks for watching. You're never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. C.S. Lewis. Stay classy, Granite Hills. Let's go!